Hello. If you're trading, you might start with a demo account, second demo account, add in a third, and eventually you open a live account and then maybe a second and third live account. Would you like to open all of these at one time? I know I do. But if you're running MetaTrader, you'll know that you can't do that. Here's what I do about the problem. Remember to leave a like, and if you want to see more of these videos, click the subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when more videos are released. Here's the problem. I've got two MetaTrader accounts here. I can switch accounts easily if I want to. But I can't have both of these accounts open at the same time. If I want to run indicators, experts or even a simple trailing stop, I need to keep the accounts open. If I just try to open MetaTrader again, nothing happens. So the answer is to have more MetaTrader installations. The obvious way to have multiple installations, and one that a lot of people use, is just to install MetaTrader again. That's clumsy, and I think there's a better way. I create and remove a lot of MetaTrader installations all the time, so I'll show you here how I do it. I'm going to show you a very simple technique that works with MetaTrader 4 and 5. Then I'll show you a variation that I use, mainly because it works better for my way of working and it makes moving to another computer or a VPS much easier. And if you stay with me to the end, I'll show you a tool that I use that will make the process even easier and where you can get a copy of that tool. I'm going to start with a clean installation for this. I've already downloaded the MT5 installer and it's sitting here on my desktop. I downloaded this directly from MetaQuotes, mainly because a lot of brokers will modify the installer and I wanted to make sure that this demonstration was generic. There's a link below where you can download the installer for yourself if you want to. I'm doing this demonstration with MetaTrader 5, but the process is the same with MetaTrader 4, although depending on which version you have or where you got it, whether it's from a broker or directly from MetaQuotes, there may be some minor adjustments. I'll mention those as we go through the demonstration. I'm going to do the installation now, but I'll speed things up. Let's create the second installation now. First, find where MetaTrader was installed. If you're using the same version I did, it'll be installed in C program files. And this is the normal location for installing MetaTrader. This is where you may see some differences depending on your version. Some brokers will install to a different location. Usually it's a folder with the broker's name. And if you have MetaTrader 4, some earlier versions would also install to Program Files x86 instead of Program Files. If you're not sure where your installation is, for a quick way to find the installation, you can simply right click on the MetaTrader icon on the desktop and select Open File Location. Now that you know where MetaTrader is installed, it's easy to make a second installation. Just copy the MetaTrader folder and give it a meaningful name. I'm just going to call this one MT5 Demo 1. Then open that folder and find Terminal64.exe. If you're running MetaTrader 4, an earlier version, this may be Terminal.exe. Right click and select Create Shortcut. Now because this is inside program files, you'll get this message saying you can't create a shortcut here, but do you want to create the shortcut on the desktop? Just say yes. Here's my new shortcut, which I'm going to rename to MT5 Demo 1 so I know which version I'm running. Now I can open my original MT5. and I can open my second MT5. You can see that I have 
two copies of MetaTrader running with different accounts. I need more flexibility in my installations uh, and I like being able to move between computers easily and to quickly share information between installations. By default, MetaTrader is creating user files in numbered folders inside your application. And you can see those if you open data folder. You can see that the files for your installation are being created in these numbered folders. This is a good security feature because it keeps everything within randomly named folders. But for my purposes, I prefer a little more flexibility and I'm prepared to give up on a little bit of that security. So for now, I'm just going to remove these installations and then show you how I would install this for my own purposes. This time I won't skip over the entire installation. At this screen, I select settings and that lets me choose an installation location. I don't want to put my MetaTrader into program files. I'm going to put it into a folder called MT, MT5. I do this because a different location avoids the user account controls that protect the program files locations. Once that installation is complete, Can see that we now have the MT folder with MT5. The process here to create a new installation is very similar to the earlier process. I just copy and then paste. But now I'm keeping all of my MetaTrader installations inside a single common folder. And this time, when I create a shortcut, I am able to create the shortcut inside the folder because I'm no longer under program files. And I'll rename that. And because this didn't create the shortcut on the desktop, all I need to do is copy this shortcut onto the desktop. But before I do that, I'm going to make one more change for more flexibility. I'm going to add slash portable. Again, I now have two MetaTrader installations, which I can run at the same time. And again, you can see I have two installations with different account numbers running at the same time. The portable option that I used is what makes this installation more flexible. You should absolutely not use the portable option if you are installing into program files. I only used it because I've installed into the MT folder under Drive C. Once I use the portable option to start MetaTrader, the user files will be created inside the installation folder and not inside a numbered folder. So if you remember from the original installation, if I select File, Open Data Folder, my files are all in a numbered folder. If I go to the second installation that I started with the portable option, And there I select Open Data Folder. The files are inside the original installation folder. You should note, this is entirely done by changing that flag on the startup shortcut. It has made no difference to the MetaTrader installation itself, although any files that I create, such as new indicators or experts from this point, will be created in these folders but the MetaTrader that's running itself has not changed at all.
The main advantage I get from using Portable is that if I want to copy this installation from another computer, I can just zip this MT5 Demo 1 folder, copy it to another computer, and it's ready to run. It will recreate all of the indicators, experts that I have, all of my chart settings. It does everything for me, and it's very easy to move to a VPS that way. If I tried that with an account without using the Portable option, then all of those user configured files remain in the numbered folder separately from this installation. And even if I did copy that numbered folder across to a new computer, MetaTrader would not use the same folder for the security reasons I mentioned earlier. So Portable is a more flexible option, but it's less secure because if someone gets a copy of that zipped folder that you have, then they will have access to your account. So if you do use this, don't leave copies of that zipped folder lying around. Remove them as soon as you finish with them. Now, I said that I'd show you how I make the process even simpler. I use a simple VB script called Create Shortcut. And once I have created my initial installation, which I will go to now. Now, I said that I'd show you how I make the process even simpler. I use a simple VB script called Create Shortcut. And once I have created my initial installation, which I will go to now, my MT folder where I've created my MT5, I will copy that file into the folder and then it's ready as I make each new version. Now when I copy that MT5 as I did before, and I create MT5 Demo 2. I won't create my own shortcut. I'll simply run the Create Shortcut tool. Now remember, I don't run this in the original folder. I only run it in each of the copies that I create. So let's see it run. First prompt, do you want to run as administrator? You don't need to run as administrator, but if you don't, you won't be able to create start menu shortcuts. So I'm just going to say yes for now. And I'll get a security warning. And the next prompt, do I want to create this as a portable link? I showed you the portable links earlier. So this is an option, yes or no, I'm going to create a portable link. Do I want to create an icon on the desktop? Yes. And do I want to create a start menu icon? Yes. And this will create the MT5 Demo 2 shortcut here in this folder. It's created an MT5 Demo 2 on my desktop. And if I look in my start menu, here is an MT5 Demo 2 as well. If you do attempt to run this with a MetaTrader installation inside program files, you'll remember earlier you can't create a shortcut directly inside the folder the tool will not try to create that shortcut, but it will still create desktop and start menu shortcuts. If you'd like a copy of this tool, I've placed a link in the description below. You will have to register for membership with the Orchard Forex website, but membership is free, and then you'll be able to download this tool. I hope you found this information useful. Please leave comments if you have any more questions, and thank you for watching.